Huge thank you to my four members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Have you ever had a moment in your live stream where you wish you could have saved that moment full quality on your computer? Even more, do you wish you could show that moment to your viewers on your live stream at the click of a button? Kind of like this. Have a look, have a look. Mm, like, I, I always, I, I had mixed opinions about Starlink. You can well, tonight we're gonna learn how to do this. Let's go. How's it going guys? Hope you all having a fantastic day. My name is Synchro. Guys, tonight we're going to be making a little replay button for our streams. You'll be able to press a hotkey on your keyboard or a button on your stream deck and display the last 30 seconds of your stream to your audience. You'll also be able to increase that time if you want as well. You don't have to have just 30 seconds. And the best part is that footage will also be saved full quality in your computer. That way you can have a full quality clip of that moment. There's only one small, tiny, tiny thing that we're going to have to download, and that's it. You can also download the replay overlay as well if you guys want. That's completely optional, but if you do want to get your hands on it, it's going to be on my Discord. It's not necessary to make it work, but it'll add a nice visual addition. Guys, if this video helps you out in any way, consider liking and subscribing. Also, share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too. Alright, so the one thing that we need to download is a little script by the legendary Exeldra to make this work. Link to it is going to be on the description for you guys. Head over to the website, click the download button, and once it's downloaded, I recommend you guys move the script to your OBS directory just so you don't accidentally delete it. Once that's done, let's head to OBS. Alright, so here in OBS, the first thing that we're going to be doing is adding that script. So head over to Tools and then click on script. Then click the plus button over here, and then simply add the script that we downloaded over there. Awesome, you can close this, we're gonna come back to this later. Next, go over to your settings, and head over to output. Over in output, enable your replay buffer. Just check this little box over here. And now you can set how long you want the replay buffer to go on for. I wanted 30 seconds, but you can have it a higher if you want. Also, keep this in mind, your replay buffer uses the exact same settings as your recording options. Your quality will be dependent on whether or not your recording quality is good as well. Once you're done with that, just click apply and OK. And you should see a new button pop up over here that says start replay buffer. Just go ahead and turn that on. This button needs to be on if you want the replay feature to work. Cool, now that we added the script and enabled the replay buffer feature, let's make a new scene. Come down over here, let's make a new scene. We're gonna call it replay. Over on sources, let's click the plus and let's add one media source. We're gonna call this replay video, click on loop, and then click OK. We don't have to add anything yet to it. This next part is optional, but if you did download the overlay, add it as a media source to it. Once you have it added, just make sure it says loop, and there you go. Cool, so now we have our replay video and our overlay. Let's add a simple transition to them. So right click, go to show transition, and we're gonna go with fade. Same with the high transition, we're gonna go with fade. And we're gonna do it to both of them. So now when we turn them on and off, you'll see that there's a slight fade animation to it. You can turn these two off now. Now let's head back to the scene in which we want the replay in. I'm just gonna use my normal camera scene for this tutorial, but you can add this to any scene that you want. Head over to sources, click on the plus, go over to scene, and then simply add our replay. And then you can resize it to whatever size you want. I'm just gonna make it slightly smaller and then put it over me. Now let's go back to tools and head over to script. Select the instant replay, and where it says media source, all you have to do is type the name of the media source that we created. So in our case, it's replay video. And then just click close. Now the final thing that we gotta do is set a hotkey. So head over to settings, go over to hotkeys, on filter type replay, and then you have the instant replay over here. Set it the hotkey that you want. I'm gonna go with the number nine. And if you are using a hotkey to turn the effect on and off, you'll also wanna add a hotkey to turn both the media source and the overlay on. And now you're done. This is how it looks now. But let's suppose you're like me and you don't like using hotkeys. You want to do it on your Stream Deck instead. That's easy. Head over to your Stream Deck software, go over to the Stream Deck tab, and add a multi-action switch. On your multi-action switch, the first thing that you gotta do is add a hotkey switch. Assign the hotkey to the button that you had the instant replay set to. Keep this in mind, even if you're not using hotkeys, you're still going to need one hotkey assigned to the instant replay in the hotkeys. That's the only hotkey that you need. Then add two source switches. Make sure that they say activate, the scene, replay, and the source overlay, and the second one, 
activate, replay, replay video. Then click the little two on the top over here. And this time, all you're adding is two sources. Make sure that they say deactivate, the scene, replay, source, replay video, scene, replay, and source, overlay. And there you go. Now you have an on and off switch for your replay button. And now when you press the button on your stream deck, this is what's gonna happen. The first time you press it, it's going to save the file, and then it's gonna turn on the sources. And then once you press it again, it'll disappear. So there you go, guys. Now you have yourselves a replay button that not only saves a HD file to your computer, it also displays it on your stream for your viewers to see at the click of a button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape, or form. If you have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time. And I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. And if you guys want to check out some more cool tutorials and learn how to do some really awesome things on your OBS, you're doing yourself a disservice by not checking out these videos over here. Trust me, you won't regret it.